Lewis 1991. Um, so I left out something that I wanted to mention in that other video. Uh, I'm sorry about that, but yeah. All right. So the thing is, the Sumerians believe that there was life on a seventh planet. All right. Um. And if, uh, like I explained in one of my videos, I, uh, I explained to you that, um, that the gods comes from in the sun out, okay, because the sun is not a massive ball of, of any material, okay, the, the sun is a ball of energy, okay, so entities from other dimensions comes from out of the sun and and this has been written in all ancient history and and all over the place archaeologists and scientists won't agree because guess what they're PhDs okay so all they believe is in lies because that's what they have learned lies not truth um, so if you take a look at here, we got the the planet um, Mercury, and then we have the planet Venus, then we have planet Earth, then we have planet uh, Mars, and then we have planet Jupiter, a little bigger, and then we have Saturn, right, and then we have Uranus and we have Neptune okay and then uh, last but not least Pluto question mark Pluto right so <coughs> this, uh, Zacharia Sitchins was saying that that life elsewhere extraterrestrial life would come from out of space towards our sun, and that they that Zacharia Sitchin says that that the Sumerians were talking about that there was life in the seventh planet. I mean, why would the Sumerians believe in something like that when they're living in the in planet Earth? Okay, so they know there's life. No, extraterrestrial life comes from the from the sun out. Okay, so the seventh planet is Uranus. In Uranus, there's life, just like there's life on Earth, and on Mars, and so on. Why did I put a question marks on Pluto? Because there's the planet X. Right here. Okay? Where the Anunnaki coming from, planet X. Now, why would scientists, NASA, and all these other people will concentrate in life outwards our planet and not inwards in our solar system. Because these planets are more closer than what, the, the, what Uranus is. They send a satellite called the Voyager towards Uranus. Alright? The Greeks have a symbol for Uranus. And that symbol for Uranus is this one. Oops, sorry. A little bit. Okay? That's the symbol of the Greeks for Uranus. <laughs> Does it resemble anything to you? Well, of course it does. Remember the movie Star Trek? When they were looking for the Voyager? Enterprise? They were talking about Uranus. So there it is. More truth for you guys. God bless. Take care. Bye.